I think people walk into this building and they are struck by the enormity of the need. The size of this building and the energy when you walk into it speaks to the opportunity to make an impact. We are this huge organization that collects and distributes food but we do that through a network of over 700 uh, programs and partners. We are also the team that thinks about uh, how we end hunger because that's a part of our mission as well. I want this place to be a space where uh, it's not just the food depository's house or our employee's house, it's actually the people's house. This building is for everybody. It was critical to find the right partner to do this. The vision that JLL helped us to begin to see and articulate was to make this building a destination not just for employees and volunteers but also for an industry that has deep connection with the Greater Chicago Food Depository. They brought us in and said they wanted to completely revamp their space. We had a connection through Margie Barron, who's our marketing director. She does a lot of uh, work with the Food Depository. It hadn't been redone since the original building was built. JLL has been a partner of the Food Depository for many, many years, and, and they just uh, seem to rise above everyone else in terms of their response to what we were looking for, their understanding, uh, their willingness to really sit down and talk about what we were trying to accomplish. The original warehouse was woefully short of refrigerated and freezer space, so we, we doubled the size of that. We clearly didn't have enough cold storage space, so years ago we used to distribute about 6 million pounds of fresh produce. We just finished this year at over 27 million pounds of fresh produce. Had we not had the additional cold storage space, that would have been a struggle. I will tell you, at the beginning of this journey, I said space doesn't matter. And I've actually come full circle on that. I think space matters immensely. At every design meeting I was saying, how can we make sure that our mission comes through? We're making sure that it's all very inclusive, it makes people feel comfortable to be here, and it's just kind of a natural down-to-earth kind of space. All the pallet wood was a big part of it, and part of their graphic is supposed to look like people sitting around a table together. We had over $3 million of cost saves of donated products, donated services, and time. So I think for them, being able to get this great space and get it for such discounted pricing is just amazing. It's hard to take a step back sometimes and look at the big picture, but yeah. that's what our role was to do and really think about the mission first. I think it's something to be really proud of, working at JLL, that they allow us to do projects like this. And not just the project part, but the giving back part. One of our colleagues, uh, I remember when I took her on the tour, she was very quiet. So at the end of the tour, I pulled her aside and I said, are you okay? Is there something you don't like? And she said, I was about to cry. I'm speechless. This is so beautiful. In some ways, what the reinvigoration of this building has done is it's also re-energized us in this mission and in this fight. Our work isn't over as long as there is anybody in this great city who faces hunger. And so we've got work to do, and we look forward to doing it in this amazing space.